Okay, I told people in live stream I do this. Yes, you're guessing it. I'm doing a video in my basement on top of the drawing machine. But I also have my freezer just behind me here. I've uh, bought all sorts of honey throughout the years. I'm gonna tell you a few secrets about honey. And I like making videos of things that people don't talk about on YouTube and like neat little secrets. Um, I've, uh, kind of a bit of a connoisseur on honey. This is orange blossom honey, which is crystallized. This is expensive German honey. This is some local comb honey. And by the way, the best, cheapest honey, and it's extremely uh, aromatic and it's extremely delicious, is orange blossom honey. Go online and buy some raw, means uncooked. It still has the antibacterial qualities within it. Some raw orange blossom honey. Basically 100% of it in the United States comes from either Florida or California. Obviously the same place they grow oranges is where you're gonna find orange blossom honey. Here's a secret, and I've uh, never known this, even though this has been in the freezer now for over a decade. Honey never goes bad. You don't actually have to stick it in the freezer, but it does keep it fresher, uh, longer, it keeps its more original taste if you do throw it in the freezer. But whether it's in the freezer or not, honey crystallizes. And of course there's ways to uncrystallize honey, okay? It's not a big deal, it doesn't change anything. I'm going to show you something interesting first. By the way, honey, this is a fact, is the third most counterfeited product in the world. The third most counterfeited food product in the world because if you buy uh, honey at Walmart or Costco or any other large places like that, it's cut with the high fructose corn syrup. But even if it's real honey, it's not raw honey which means it still has this antibacterial properties. Number one, honey is the only food on earth that never ever goes bad. It never spoils. If I were to uh, dig this in a hole and someone were to find it 5,000 years later, it would still be edible. It would be dehydrated, but you could rehydrate it and it would still be edible. It's better than Neosporin for cuts and bruises. If you buy raw honey, which still has its uh, antibacterial qualities in it, if you have like an upset stomach or you know you have dysentery or whatever, you should eat some honey. It will basically nearly instantly cure you. There is basically no way to get around the crystallization of honey. And I only knew of one way before. And that's the reason why, by the way, it's absolutely impossible for comb honey to be less than raw because it's still in the comb. Beekeepers don't like to sell comb honey. It's a real pain in the ass. I know more than a few beekeepers, my home in South Florida and Fort Myers, just north of there, like five miles north of there in North Fort Myers is the largest place in the United States for beekeepers. They travel all throughout the United States, delivering their bees in the back of pickup, um, excuse me, tractor trailers for pollinations of various people's crops and whatnot. So I know more than a few beekeepers. I've asked them all sorts of oddball, strange questions, interesting questions about bees and beekeeping. They don't like actually uh, selling comb honey because it's a pain in the ass. What they like to do is, and all the comb these, day, these days are plastic. They just spin out the honey and they just sell the honey. It's very fast and very easy. This, they actually have to cut out by hand with a knife and stick it in a friggin' box. So it's a real pain in the ass. But this has been in the freezer now for like four years maybe. And this stuff is still not crystallized. But it is expensive. But this is in the comb honey. By the way, you should always try in the comb honey. Here's the fact. Of the countless varieties of honey that I've owned, they all crystallize except for one. I'm going to talk about it here in a second. This is orange blossom honey. This is crystallized. I get it uncrystallized. This has been in the freezer now for at least 11 years. I can actually basically prove that too because somewhere on here, honey never goes bad, but you have to put an expiration date on everything. It says expires in 2012. Well, I bought this in like 2008, okay? This is German acacia honey. It's quite expensive. Like a jar like this is like 20 bucks or 17 bucks. I think it's like cheapest is 18 bucks. This is German acacia honey. It's made uh, in Deutschland. And this has been in the freezer now for over a decade. And it is just, and of course there's frost forming <clears throat> on the outside of the jar, but this is just as crystal clear as it was the day that I got it like 12 years ago. Absolutely mind-blowing. I was telling people on a live stream, I said, listen, I got this honey that's been in the freezer now for well over a decade. Not crystal. Actually, like four of those 10 years plus was not in the freezer. And then like six or seven or eight years ago or something like that, I put it in the freezer. Still, this is just frost. 
okay? This is just frost on the outside, so it's still perfectly clear. I wanted to, you know, prove that to you. Frost on the outside of the jar because it was out of the freezer. So this is it. You can get this on... Uh, this is actually really close to honeysuckle honey. It's a very light color. It doesn't taste anything like clover honey. I absolutely hate clover honey. Clover honey is the stuff you see everywhere. It doesn't taste that great. The best, cheapest honey by far is this. It doesn't look like it because it's crystallized, but this is pure, raw, orange blossom honey. This came from a private beekeeper that I know in my house in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Um, <clears throat> his name is, uh, oh God, what's his name? Uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, he doesn't have a website. What difference does it make if I tell you his name? I forget. His name escapes me. But uh, yeah, if you want to buy uh, honey, get the orange blossom honey. You can get like a 12-pound jug of it for like 60 or 70 bucks. It's uh, gold and yellow. It basically looks like this. Before it crystallized, this honey was this color. If you can, buy uh, home con uh, comb honey. You just cut this out and you chew it like bubble gum. You can sit there and chew on the wax and the honey just squirts out of the uh, cells. But uh, yeah, that's where this stuff came from. Yeah, this is the other way um, the honey doesn't crystallize. You always know if uh, honey is in the comb that it is raw and real. You can't make pasteurized or non-raw honey that's in the comb. And you can't make counterfeit honey that's in the comb. It's absolutely impossible. So, <clears throat> yeah, but honey is the third most counterfeited food product on earth because they cut it with high fructose corn syrup. And never buy honey in Walmart, Costco, or any sort of, you know, cheap ass. What you do is you find yourself a local beekeeper, can't find a local one, then call up one. It's like that's all they do is beekeeping, okay? They say, I want raw honey. The reason, too, why they don't sell raw honey in the grocery stores, they, they cook it which takes away its antibacterial properties is because they could be open to a lawsuit because there'd be some little rug rat out there that doesn't have an immunity. You know, all these uh, genetically inferior people that were breeding, I'm not, you know, it's just about people that are so easy to get sick. You know, people get like peanut allergies these days and they didn't used to get peanut allergies. The, the reason why they, uh, they boil it and they kill all the great uh, antibacterial qualities of the honey only buy raw honey. Only buy raw honey. The reason why they cook it for retail sale is so that uh, it doesn't have uh, any of those, uh, you know, special ingredients that uh, it could possibly cause someone to uh, undergo shock or harm. And then, then the beekeeper would be sued, and the grocery store would be sued. It's like, oh, you sold raw, sold raw honey, and my young son ate some. And uh, he got deathly sick because he has a, you know, a pathetically weak immune system or, you know, something like that. So that's the reason why they uh, cook honey for retail sale. You don't want that crap. You want, repeat after me, raw honey from a beekeeper. The beekeeper is not cutting his crap with corn syrup, okay? He's not cutting it and he's not boiling it, you know. He's not taking the good qualities out of the honey. This is a fact. I actually know a few beekeepers. I'm not a beekeeper, but I know a few beekeepers. I actually know a few damn things about honey. But uh, this is amazing. This is not crystallized, and it's been in the freezer for over a decade. Well, in the freezer about eight years, maybe, and sitting on the shelf for like four, four years or something. Unbelievable. And this is the stuff, this German Langnese Acacia honey. Yeah, product of Deutschland. Jawohl, honey. Repeat after me.